Hello everyone, I'm Chris from Rusted Rabbit and welcome back to the channel. Now, if you're raising your own meat, you're going to need to package it and you're going to need to store it. And that's what we're here to do today. Okay, so freshly killed meat can be pretty tough. That's why we let it rest one to three days in the fridge. Um, and if you've collected the organs, uh, then what I like to do is use a food saver. And I, I vacuum pack those together, uh, you know, separate from the meat. Um, and then I store it all in the fridge covered. Um, the reason, you know, all we rest is, you know, the carcass goes through rigor mortis and, you know, the shrinking and the stiffening of the muscles after you slaughter it. Within a day, the enzymes kick in and it begins the tenderizing process, the aging process, and the muscles start to relax. So now we need to just rinse everything off. Okay, so make sure that when you're taking everything out and you're rinsing it off, you're using cold water. If it's too hot, then it could, you know, either pre-cook the meat if it's that hot or it, at a minimum, it'll, it'll raise the temperature uh, and encourage bacterial growth. So, you know, really you want to just kind of, it's going to be stiff because it's been resting. And so you want to just kind of exercise that meat, uh, rinse everything off. Uh, I like to cut off, you know, trim off any fat or anything that's, that's displeasing because ultimately, you know, I start um, packaging my meat. I, I sell at retail uh, sometimes and I want to make sure that it's as visually pleasing as possible. So I, I'm pretty meticulous at going through everything, rinsing it off and making it look very clean. So obviously, you know, the next step is putting this thing into packaging. So, you know, lay, lay out the rabbit, you know, right on a cutting board or something, a flat surface. And then we take those organs that we prepackaged um, and, you know, get a set, you know, kind of wrap it up and, and stuff in the cavity there. Um, you know, this is sort of like when you buy a turkey at Thanksgiving, it comes with all the giblets. You know, some people grab it and they toss it. Some people love those things. Some people dry it out and they give it to their pets, you know, but I like to give people the option. So I go ahead and include it in the, um, in every animal. Uh, you don't have to, but that's what we do. So, uh, we use this place called Texas poultry shrink bags. Uh, I love that it's, you know, local. Um, I love that it's a small business. Um, so, uh, and more importantly, <laughs> I love the way it works. It's really easy and they've worked great for us. Um, you know, so we, you, Kind of fold everything, kind of get it into that bag and, and you know, bunch it up. And then, you know, you'll have a straw that it comes with and you stick that straw in there. It lets all the gas, you know, the air escape when it shrinks. Uh, then you get a zip tie and just kind of, you know, zip tie it as tight as you can. Don't get too crazy about it because it's going to shrink some. And then when you pull the, the straw out later, you're going to end up tightening it more anyway. So, you know, you do that. You get the water to between 180 and 200 uh, almost boiling and then you're gonna submerge it wear gloves or something so you don't burn yourself but submerge it for I want to say like eight seconds or so and it'll shrink and it'll be perfect okay so like I said you want to go ahead and heat up your water get it up to temperature I think the packaging says between 180 and 195 degrees so I, you know, I typically aim for like right around 185 190 uh, I use silicone gloves it's great with two people but you know my, my kids were enthralled with an episode of uh, Oh, Paw Patrol or something. So it was all on me today. So I had a, a, a pot a little bit smaller than I usually use. Um, so it, it made it a little trickier, made a, made a mess, but it's just water, right? Uh, anyway, you, you make sure you submerge everything. You'll hear the air kind of blowing out of the straw. Um, and, and just make sure you don't go too deep. You don't want the water to get in there and cook it. And you also don't want to go against the bottom and, and burn the plastic. Okay, so the last step for this packaging is just to go ahead and, you know, pull that straw out that it comes with um, and get that zip tie, you know, even tighter. Uh, you don't need to, you know, wrench or get all crazy like that, but, you know, get it as tight as you possibly can because that's going to be where air can get in and out. Um, and then just to clean it up, I get scissors. I go about an inch or so above the zip tie. Don't get too close to it. Trim that off and then go ahead and clip off the zip tie as well. So the next thing is to weigh it. Uh, I have a scale I'll also put down in the description. This works great. You need to do something to make sure you're writing the package date uh, and the weight, especially if you're gonna go sell it. All right, so once you have uh, your weight, you wanna make sure you write that down. Um, and then you know, you're gonna have labeling. And if you get these shrink bags that we get, they actually come with labels, um, or you can actually have your custom labels made. They, they're fantastic. And they send those with the bags and the zip ties and the straw. So make sure you're writing down your date, your package date, uh, so you know how long it's been in the freezer, and your weight uh, in case you want to sell it. 
Okay guys, that's about it. So just take that label you made, peel it off and stick it on your packaging. Um, and then go ahead and put that straight in the freezer. Make sure you're storing it properly. Um, and again, we appreciate your support. If you could click uh, you know, subscribe, uh, that'll support our channel. And you know, watch our, our recipe series as well. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave it down below. I'd be happy to answer them. Uh, and finally, God bless.